Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you for the love and support that you have given me, you know, during the times that I'm making my videos, during my low times as well as my good times. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you feel like you're comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video just gave you good vibes or you know someone that's a fellow empath that needs to hear this or a loved one or a friend, please go ahead and you know share away. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support that you have given me. It's greatly appreciated. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Um, today, my um, meditation music that I'm playing in the background is 396 hertz. Letting go of negative thoughts, fear, and unwanted emotions and behavior and stop stress and negativity. Yes, we all have that. You know, we go through changes and stuff like that. Y'all had to take me a much needed break yesterday. Y'all were too much. I, it was like I'm getting comments from over here on YouTube and then I'm getting some on Facebook Messenger while I'm talking to my one on ones. And, you know, it was like so overwhelming because I'm feeling, I'm feeling love coming in from all different directions directions like y'all all hugging me at one time I'm like ah stop <laughs> you know I'll just start crying because I was like oh I love y'all to death y'all just don't know I cried so much yesterday because it was like I hear my dad in the background and said see you are very loved you are really loved and that was a, a, a very beautiful thing but today my video is about uh cutting cords from a negative past you know I've, I've been talking about that you know we have holded we hold on to things entirely too long because we need to be able to pick up the new things that are trying to come in our lives and stuff like that and you know I'm like I said I'm not gonna even lie to you I do it as well so that's the reason why I make these videos on things that I'm doing or things that you know universe has opened me up to talk about you know because we all have been through a very bad situation one way or another nobody's situation is worse than the other person's because everybody deal with their situations a lot differently but it was just like i'm, I'm sitting up here i want to change you know i want to change because there are so many layers you know it's like an onion it's like when you you feel like you have let go of something else and then there, there's a certain uh, situation that it could be bring, brought up from your adulthood as well as childhood to bring you right back to that negative state and it's just like today I was using um I think his name is Keith Kenneth Soares Sars. um I've used a lot of his meditations in the background of my videos and he has these you know 30 to 20 minute uh meditations that you know that covers everything and I really 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 love those and I did like about 45 minutes of it before I started doing the videos because it's like yes I'm healing on certain aspects but there are start, certain painful things that I still had to deal with that I really need to cut the cord and let it go you know because it's just like there's no matter yeah it hurts that these situations has happened to me but I cannot change the situation what's been done is already done you know just let it go you know you know things happen for a reason we have to go do things for us to be tested each and every day because it's like you know I feel like God and universe puts their 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 toughest challenges on the strongest soldiers I really do because it's like whatever is coming they they want us to be able to say you know what this has happened to you yes it it was a painful situation but this is no longer you know your responsibility to hold on to these things you have to be able to cut those cords and let it go you know because it's just like I can't keep constantly telling y'all y'all need to let stuff go and I'm still dealing with my own issues because I tell y'all I'm not perfect I'm a work in progress I tell y'all that all the time because it's like 
you know, I get in my moments where, you know, I feel like, okay, I'm adopted. If there's a lot of people that's out there has listened to my videos that have been adopted and want to know their family, then they understand. You know, certain people, they, you know, they're are in their family. They know who their parents are. You know, they, they know what their background are. But, you know, that was a tough situation for me to go through, but I can't look at it like that. At least I can say, yeah, I don't know my, my biological parents all in the way I supposed to, but I know enough, like on my dad's side where I can look at certain things that run in our family or whatever and whatever is meant for me to know it will come in my past so I can't really be hard on myself and say you know what this has happened this has happened that has happened you know this is so messed up you know yeah it has been but I can't keep talking about that you know if I want to be able to get on with my better life I have to be able to cut those cords from my adopted father I have to cut those cords from my stepmom you know and their side of the family I really need to just let that go because it's like not even I don't even want to say karma anymore it's like you know one of my one on ones that told me yesterday and I mean it hit home it kind of pissed me off but it really hit home it's like you know what it's not your responsibility to worry about what's going to happen to them everybody is held at fault for certain things that we're human you know there's certain things we lack our own self-love so we hurt people in the process because of the things we lack in our own lives or you know we're insecure about certain things so we you know we probe on other people's lives and push that off on them we have to be able to break that cycle you know like i tell y'all we're this we're, this is at the end of this generational curse this is the thing you know the end of the karmatic uh relationships that you're trying so desperately to get out of you can't get out of these things until you recognize the things that you are still holding on to and let them go you know it's not your responsibility you just pray for those people that's why i have to say i'm not gonna keep talking about this stupid stuff because it's happened yes is very traumatic I've lost a lot of things in that but you know when I keep on reading on certain numbers that yes you have lost things but things are about to be replaced with better so it, it's just like I can't worry about the future because the future hasn't got here yet I can't worry about the past anymore because I can't change the past anymore so I have to be able to you know concentrate on the now deal with the now how am I gonna be able to fix myself so I can be able to hurry up and get where I need to be now fake the funk to get there don't fake it till you make it you you gotta you know if you have to look at yourself each and every day and tell yourself you, you deserve happiness you need to let go you know cut the cords a, a painful path past you know be happy you know because there's a lot of people that are wishing they had our spots you know there's people out here that got you need know, these sicknesses and it's hard for them to breathe but yet we're, we're upset because we're still living in the same life that we're living in. I bet those people that got these cancer and all this other stuff that is going on, wish that they actually had a life like ours. Like, shoot, I'd rather deal with your issues than deal with mine. So it's just like, you know, I can't allow people that have little minimum power over me or not even in my life be keeping affected keep affecting me like that I have to keep telling myself that so it's just like when I tell y'all stuff you know I you know I have my issues too like I tell y'all I do have my issues too I keep it real with y'all you know when I when I make these videos about you know when we stay in pain for too long yes I've stayed in pain for too long because I kept reflecting on the things that I missed out on but I know I had to go through this situation to be able to help people like you people like myself you know and it's a blessing you know because it, it there's times I sit up here and I ask God why am I keep going through stuff like this why am I hurting so much why did you allow this to happen but then when I get y'all's comments when I get y'all on one-on-one -on -one and y'all tell me how much of a blessing I am and y'all got me crying like oh my gosh you know I, I just send virtual hugs out to y'all because I feel it I feel that energy when y'all bring it back and y'all don't know how much y'all had me in tears yesterday I was gonna make videos but I was snotting <laughs> oh my god you know cuz y'all really made me feel good you know there's times I step out my comfort zone and it, it can be a scary situation you know singing you know was a scary situation I sing around the house all the time but when I get in front of the, the camera I lock up real quick and my dad's like you need to stop being that way you can really sing and it's just like you know I said daddy that's different you know when me and you were doing it you know behind closed doors nobody else don't hear me he's like you need to let that part of you be able to be seen don't worry about what people think you know because there's a lot of people that don't like themselves already as it is so how you expect them to like you if they don't like themselves so I said okay touche touche so you know y'all have really helped me 
even though y'all keep on telling me you don't know how much you have helped me y'all don't know how much y'all did the same thing for me in return and it really has humbled me to the point where i mean there's words can't even express how much i love y'all you know even what's not being said is always understood you know so it's just like a lot of y'all if i don't if I don't see the comments here, I definitely get it, you know, other places I get it in emails. Like, I apologize if anybody sent me any emails. I have not been on my email. So I apologize if I haven't not uh, got back to you yet. So I do, I know I do need to go ahead and get back on there if there is some on there. But I have been doing a lot of one-on-ones on Facebook that people have been hitting me up and asking for advice. And, you know, and I tell them just from my experience on certain things, you know, I keep their business confidential, but it's just like, I don't judge anybody. You know, I, if I went through this and I tell you, you know, you ask me what's the best route to go for. And I tell you, because if I've been that route and I see where it's gotten me, yeah, you know, I might not be where I want to be yet, but I think when it comes to certain things that I had to battle with, like my addiction, I tell you, I keep it real. I used to smoke weed. Like, you know, I was up there with Bob Marley and Cheech and Chong, you know, if I could have. But just to be able to deal with the, the BS that I had to constantly deal with, that I had to face reality sober, that's the realest mess that I, I could. And, you know, I have to get my own self high five for that one because there are so many times y'all don't know, you know, even with April coming along, that, I mean, April. I don't even want to talk about that, but, you know, just just to ask the heavens up above, just to give me the strength to deal with what I got to deal with right now. But you just know that whatever you're dealing with, no one is temporary. You just have to be able to see what's more important at this this in your life either holding on to the past where it's hurt you and you cannot change it or cut them cords so you can be able to have all those beautiful blessings that's coming in your life you gotta really think about that i have to tell myself the same thing so whatever you have to do to get yourself out of that situation meditate you know like i said if you go on my playlist where it says re relaxing music or meditation music i have a whole bunch of meditations there you know if i'm on one-on-one -on -one with y'all i'll also let y'all uh send y'all out these things as well so like and subscribe even hit that notification bell much love to you i'm giving so much love out to Averett and uh cynthia and there's also yvette so much love to y'all stay blessed stay prosperous you know send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can when you give it to me make sure you're giving it to yourself as well so like and subscribe give me that thumb up uh share the video hit the notification bell and even subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you next later much love peace be wild